Welcome to our farm and homestead. Today we'd like to give you a brief tour of the homestead we built starting two years ago in 2019. At the end of the video, we'll get to a little bit on the craziest thing that we've ever done in our life together. My name is Joseph Stoltzfus, married to my best friend and companion, Susan, and together we have four boys. Let's get to the tour. So this is the front of the home that you would see from the road or coming in the driveway. Let's walk back to the, the back yard, uh, which we often refer to as our oasis. Um, it's what it is to us. So this is the view from the back porch going out to the campsite and the greenhouse to the left. Um, and then this is early morning out across the pasture. If you look closely, you might be able to see the sheep and some calves in the back pasture there, out there in the center. Um, but this is, this is our haven. Puppy! Where's Zoe? Where's Zoe? Hmm? Yes. Yes. Back behind me, you can see the um, sun starting to come up from the east and shining down onto the trees here. So really, it's just, it's, it's our haven in the mornings, especially, um, and late evenings. It's, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place for us to come out, hang out, and um, enjoy, enjoy the nature, sounds of nature, and all that goes with it. Um, let me go around and show you the front of the house, some more up front there, and uh, some garden plots that I'm really excited about for uh, next spring. All right, come on. What's up, Jerry?
Okay, here I am in front of the house and uh, show you the, just the shed as we call it. Um, never got finished yet. That's on the to-do list for this fall as well. Real soon, need to make it happen before winter. Need to get some doors on there and finish out some trim. There's a story behind that building. Um, but real quick, I'll just show you see if I can get turned around here. Um, so the, um, this where we keep the chickens and they have a side access. Show you, see if I can tilt this down. Um, they have kind of a, a dry run. Um, what's up guys? side access to the shed and then come out and they got water down there and um, they just hang out in here in the woods they love it in the summertime it keeps them cool got all the fresh water they need and um, they go inside lay their eggs what are you doing little buddy play yeah you want to play with it you play in the dirt yeah, yeah? Say hi. Hi. Say, say hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right. So going out the driveway, just in front of the house, front of the parking space here, we have three garden spots. Um, looks more like fenced-in animal plots, but um, we did that so we could run pigs and chickens in there um, to help us with killing the garden and so on. Um, this first plot is already seeded in cover crop. I'm not going to walk out there right now because the sun's shining from the east and it's just going to make us all blurry and stuff. But um, this there's there's three 50 by 50 plots uh, so total we would have a 50 by 150 garden spot um, like I said this first one is seeded in cover crop already the second one is just coming up in weeds we need to get that worked up and get those weeds out of there the third one uh, we're still harvesting some potatoes um, some green beans and still got some some corn standing so that's kind of the gist of it, um, of the gardens up front here, and the, the kind of the homestead part of our, of our um, farm here. We do have some cows and sheep and pigs. sure if you can see this the red barn all the way right there that is the barn that goes with um, our property here and the cows are out there on the hill right there um, have a couple dairy cows jerseys that we milk Make our own butter. Drink lots of fresh milk, right? Mm -hmm. There's Caleb. How you doing, Caleb? So today is a big day for us. Um, it's Saturday. Uh, we're cutting some hay. Um, my neighbor Gary and I, we do hay together. I help him, I give him my time and he brings his equipment. I do, the only real investment I have is my my tractor. Um, tractor and 
my time. So I have a 50 horse coyote. I do the tedding, raking, and all the bale moving and hauling. Um, he comes and mows it and, and bales it. Why is my camera doing that? Just wants to go honky wonky on me. Why do you think it's doing that, Jerry? So, I think that's about it for today. I gotta go get started on some tedding and raking, and then we'll be baling some this afternoon, baling some more tomorrow, hauling, stacking. So, be a busy day. Okay, on the craziest thing we've ever done in our life together. When we first bought this property in 2019, it was a cow pasture. There was nothing here. We had big aspirations of uh, living debt free and off grid. Right. So we pulled a big camper down the hill and it sat right there where this shed's sitting. The crazy thing is, we had no electricity, no real sewer, and no running water. With three boys. We had three boys at the time. And I was... You were pregnant. Yeah. Six months? Four months? Three or four months, something like it. Uh, we had no driveway. And it started raining. It rained in the whole month of June. It rained more than I have ever seen in June. We moved here very first of June, and yeah. right away the whole month it just poured, rain, 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 rain. Right. Our camper didn't leak, but we had some dampness and a little bit of mold that we wanted to get a. We couldn't find a heater. They were not. Yeah, it was, they were it was, not in season. It was, it was cool enough that we. It was chilly enough that we. Wanted to kind of almost wanted the almost it. wanted some heat to dry up the the dampness, the moisture. We had no driveway. Yeah. Right here we sat, middle of a cow pasture, under the trees. Yeah. Nothing else here. But we did have. A fridge and a freezer, just what was just this place. Yeah. So, um, I owned a roofing business at the time, and my shop's just around the corner. So we did have electricity up there. We had our fridges and freezers up there, um, but it was back and forth on the folder all the time. A lot. Yeah. It was crazy. So we'll get more to that story in another uh, video sometime. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And if you want to follow what we do here on the farm or support us in any way, um, you can subscribe and leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Thank you and have a blessed day.